how to create a Facebook custom audience so you can make millions with your business in 2020. What up guys, Ben Obrick here back with another video. I'm gonna talk about Facebook custom audiences because it's very important to use Facebook custom audiences to scale an online brand. We're gonna be talking about lookalike audiences, Facebook custom audiences, how you can use your email list, Instagram profile visits, and then you have a whole bunch of engagement features that you can retarget. Now, who is this for? This is for those of you, I just stepped on something extremely sharp. This is for those of you that wanna smash that like button right now. This is also, do it. This is also for those of you that have an e-commerce business, you're a brick and mortar, and you're trying to figure out the Facebook ads world. Reality is you probably have people that are looking at your content, visiting your website, opting into your sales funnels, visiting your store, looking at your Instagram profile, engaging on your social media, and you don't even realize that you have a huge giant audience that you can market to, create an ROI from, and be able to scale your business. So if you're brick and mortar, if you're an e-commerce, if you are a coach, you have a digital, a physical product, you're an affiliate marketer, you want to use Facebook custom audiences, you want to use lookalike audiences, you want to be leveraging that email list, you want to be retargeting your social media engagement and visits, and you want to be able to create an infinite amount of audiences where you can have a higher ROI. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of that and later on in this video, I'm going to be screen sharing with you how to actually create these. I'm going to show you on the board now. I'm going to show you how to create these inside the Facebook Business Manager. I'm going to itch my leg also. And I'm going to talk to you guys about, out of all of this, which ones are the highest ROI for me, which ones I make the most money from. All in this video. So pens out, papers out, coffee, drink, drunk, whatever you, how would you say? Is it drink, drunk? What is it? Drunk. Talk. Drunk. Coffee drunk. Mm, that's great for my Invisalign, which is right here and now brown. So brown tooth guy's gonna talk to you about Facebook custom audiences. First of all, custom audiences. What this means is you can basically upload your own audience. So for example, if you have an email list, you can literally upload that email list to Facebook as a custom audience. So that way any ads that you run only go to Facebook profiles that actually match those emails. So Facebook is gonna measure the emails against hey, is there a Facebook account with this email? And it's gonna market to them, all right? There's just so many beautiful ways you can market with Facebook custom audiences. Now, I had a webinar a little bit earlier today, I was talking about retargeting your Instagram engagement because the reality is, say for example, you have just 500 followers, which a lot of you guys probably watching this video have 500 followers, maybe you have 5,000, maybe you have 10, maybe you have 100,000 followers on Instagram. Cool thing is, out of these 500 followers, Let's just say that you get like 50 likes per post, about 10% engagement. Out of those 50 likes, you might only have one person that is actually following you, but you have like 1,000 people that are leaving an impression on this particular post. Out of that 1,000, 999 didn't follow you and 950 didn't actually engage. You can retarget all of this engagement place ads right in front of them and turn them into followers or money. You can even create custom audiences based off of the type of people that engage on your Instagram profile and then from there you can purify them even further. Let me give you an example of that. Say I have 500 followers and out of those 500 followers, the country of India engages on my profile the most. A lot of times you find that India has a lot of people that engage on profiles, especially travel, luxury, motivation, quote accounts, entrepreneur accounts. But most people in India that are engaging don't actually have the money to buy the products or services that you are selling. So when you create a lookalike audience with, with the people that engage on your Instagram profile, you wanna be able to have exclusions. This is why it's so beautiful, the type of audiences that you can create. And, and if I'm getting ahead, if you're like, okay, I'm lost, don't worry. I'm gonna break this all down and screen share with you just in a second so you can learn lookalike audiences and how to make a Facebook custom audience. The problem is that if India is your number one engager on your Instagram profile, but they don't buy your products or services, when you create an audience to retarget based off of Instagram profile visits, you don't want it to go, okay, well, the most people that engage are from India, so we're gonna run ads to them. You wanna be able to exclude that. So you can create a custom audience based off of Instagram profile visits you can retarget those people, but then once you create that audience, you can go, okay, but uh, I only want to target USA. 
and I only want to target people from the age range of 25 to 44 and I only want to target them if they have this interest, this interest, and this interest. Making money online, high ticket closing, affiliate marketing, all right? And now all of a sudden, the people that you are targeting or running ads in front of are razor focused, all right? They're the most likely to do business with you, the most likely to follow you, the most likely to click your links, etc. So that's a really beautiful way that you can use Facebook custom audience to retarget Instagram profile visits. And you the only way you have to do that, the only way you can do that is if you have a creator account or a business account. So make sure you're not using a personal account. If you have a personal account, you wanna be able to use Facebook custom audiences to retarget Instagram profile visits. Definitely make sure that you change that account to a business or a creator account so you actually have the love you to do this, okay? Hey, what I wanna know really quick in the comments is let me know, have you ever used Facebook custom audiences or lookalike audiences? I'd love to know in the comments below if you can include that below in this video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I wanna help you be able to leverage your online brand and be able to create a higher ROI. Whether you're an influencer, you're in e-commerce, you're in the fashion industry, you're a blogger, you have a brick and mortar business, you're an attorney, a doctor, lawyer, engineer, doesn't matter, I wanna help you with this. So please let me know in the comments, have you used a Facebook lookalike audience or a Facebook custom audience before, all right? So in a second, I'm gonna screen share with you. I'll get into the email list stuff, I'll go deeper into the Instagram profile business, I'll show you what else you can do with Facebook custom audiences, but then there's this really cool other thing, it's called look alike audiences. And this is something that I can explain very well, very easy, and I would suggest you have a pen and piece of paper out, all right? Good stuff. Now with look alike audiences, what you're telling Facebook is, hey, I want you to create an audience similar to people that have visited my website, to people that have watched 95% of this video that I posted, to people that have added a product of mine to cart, to people that have done some level of engagement on my website, initiated checkout, maybe purchased a product or service from you, and what you're telling Facebook is, hey, out of the 2.7 billion people on Facebook, can you give me an audience that is most similar, based on the data that you have, Facebook, is most similar to the 500 people that bought this pen from me on my website? And now, Facebook looks through the depths, the archives of Facebook and Instagram, and goes, who out of the 2.7 billion people can we give you that are most similar to the people that have already bought this dry erase, low odor, chisel, USA Expo pen? And you have to realize that Facebook is saying, hey, here's the people that we have data on that are most targeted, most similar to the people that have already done business with you buying this blue dry erase Expo pen, all right? So that's very valuable. Now, there's some rules to this, okay? As you can imagine, if somebody bought this pen, and this pen, and this pen, and this pen, and this pen. And we have five buyers, okay? Five buyers of the same pen. That is not as much data as if we had 500 people that bought all of these pens. So the more of an audience that we have developed for Facebook to create a lookalike audience off of, the more accurate that lookalike audience is gonna be. So, with that said, you do not want to create lookalike audiences until you have enough data to give Facebook to create a lookalike audience from. Facebook will allow you to create a lookalike audience off of just 100 people. You do not want to do that. Big fat no on that. You want to create a lookalike audience when you have at least 500 actions. Okay, now here's what I want you to write down. In order, I've listed them out here. Here's your order of actions. You have, you have view video, or video views, I'm sorry. You have video views, okay? You can retarget people that watch a certain percentage of your video. So for example, you can retarget uh, people that watch 50% or more, you can retarget 75, you can retarget 95, you can retarget 100, okay? Obviously, the higher the number, the better, all right? The people that watch 95% or 100% of your video compared to people that left halfway through are a little bit more interested in whatever that was, even if they didn't buy, even if they didn't go onto your website, okay? So that's your first area of creating a Facebook lookalike audience is video view, okay? Your next is view content. This is essentially website visits. So for example, if you're promoting a product or a service or sending people into your sales funnel and you get 
500 people that didn't just view your video ad that you ran to get people to your site, but actually landed on your landing page or your product page, okay? As soon as you get 500 people or here, this is an even hotter audience to create a lookalike audience off of, okay? But if you keep running ads, you keep spending money, and all of a sudden you get to 500 ad to carts, this is even hotter. You'd wanna create a lookalike audience off of your 500 ad to carts. You're basically working your way down to the pinnacle, the best type of lookalike audience that you can create. When you get to 500 initiate checkouts, for example, so people started adding payment info, they went from the cart to actually the you know order page where they're putting in their shipping information, their billing address, all that good stuff. You wanna create a lookalike audience as soon as you get to 500 initiate checkouts of a product. Not, you don't wanna do like 500, you know, you've got 500 ad to carts of all 236 of your products combined. This is most accurate when you can go Facebook. There's 500 people that have initiated checkout on, let's say it's product X. Great, that's gold. Ultimately, what you're working your way to is if you can get 500 sales of product X, you wanna create a lookalike audience based off of that. Because now what you're telling Facebook is, they didn't just like view a video 95%. You start there if that's the biggest engagement group you have of 500 actions or more. And then as you get to view content, as you get to add to cart, okay, now you wanna create that audience market to, create this audience market to. This is the holy grail right here. When you can tell Facebook, look, I have got 500 people that have actually purchased product X and I wanna create a lookalike audience based off of that, that's beautiful. This is where you can tell Facebook, give me the top 1% of people most similar to those that have bought this product from me in the last 30 days and located in the USA. Then you can do the same thing, top 1% Europe, for example. Okay, you can do the top one through 10% because maybe this audience isn't like big enough, okay? Maybe the top 1% of people most similar to the people that have bought this product X from you in the USA in the last 30 days here, maybe this audience is only 1 million in size and you could actually burn through that pretty quickly with a decent amount of ad spend. So maybe you wanna actually create an audience that is the top, uh, let's just say the top um, one through 3% and maybe this audience size is five million. A little bit more people to market to, okay? So the top 3% of people most similar to the 500 purchasers of product X. And you can create a Facebook lookalike audience based off of that. It's so infinitely powerful. And if you do that, that is where you can create a substantial amount of ROI. It all happens with Facebook lookalike audiences and Facebook custom audience, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen share with you how do you actually create a Facebook custom audience, all right? Hopefully if you love this video so far, you find a tons of value in it. Make sure you smash that like button and make sure if you know anybody that could really benefit from this, share this out there with them, all right? There's plenty of room for you to succeed and you don't have to compete with other people. I'm gonna pull up a chair here. So you're gonna go into your Facebook business manager, of course, and then you wanna go over to audiences. I'll show you how this all looks, okay? Facebook business manager is where you can create audiences, you can get them to your ads manager from there, et cetera. So Facebook business manager, you're gonna scroll over here, right under assets, you'll see audiences. Once you get in there, you're gonna have the ability to create audiences, create lookalike audiences, all this different stuff. So you'll see there's already a couple different types of audiences that we have made. For example, 95% video view nail clipper. So we had a nail clipper ad that we ran. It was like an e-commerce product for uh, an e-commerce pet store, all right? And what we noticed is we had a bunch of people that viewed 95% or more of this video ad that we ran. So we created basically a custom audience retargeting the engagement level of that video, 95% video views. So we took the people that had engaged 95% of video view and we actually wanted to retarget those very same people. We could create a lookalike audience and tell Facebook, hey, create a lookalike audience off of the people most similar to those that watch 95% of this video or more. So we can actually create an audience to retarget all those people that watch 95% of that video. Or we can create a custom audience where we want to 
have a look-alike, basically, of people similar to those that viewed 95% of that video or more. So when you create audiences, they're all gonna get listed in here. You go to create audience, and then you'll have custom, you'll have look-alike. So in the look-alike category, if we go here, what we can do is select a data source. You're gonna want a Facebook pixel, so that way it can have actually something to create a lookalike audience off of. So I'll select Facebook pixel, and then it says, do you wanna create a lookalike audience based off of purchases? Obviously, once again, that is the holy grail for lookalike audiences. If you don't have enough there, you can click other event with value, and then view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, add payment info, okay? That would be the order prior to purchase, right? So view content as a website visit. If you have 500 people or more that viewed the product page for this particular product, you start there. If you already have 500 people or more that added to cart, you're gonna start there on that particular product. If you have 500 people or more that initiated checkout on that particular product, you're gonna start there. If they actually went past initiate checkout, added payment info, but didn't purchase, you're gonna start there. The hotter, the better, all right? Because they're closer to buying. Purchase, holy grail. So I would click add to cart. It's gonna tell me that I've got 91 unique customers here. I want to have at least 500, all right? I wanna have at least 500 here. Facebook will allow you to create an audience based off of just 100, but the more data I get it, the more accurate that look like audience is gonna be. And then as you scroll down, you'll see top zero to 1%, I can do top 2%, top 3%, et cetera. And I can, I can drag this. All right, so I can isolate. I could have literally make an audience of just the top 1%. I could merge it together, do zero to 3%, whatever. I like to isolate because I wanna find where's the most money in these audiences. So I'm gonna do zero to 1% audience. I'm gonna do a one to 2%, a two to 3%, maybe a three to 5%. And when I start running those, there'll be you know slightly different audiences, slightly different audience sizes, but I wanna isolate which out of the zero to 10% has the most ROI in it. So I'll do like, for example, I'll have a zero to one, I'll have a one to two, I'll do a two to three and I'll label it. So what I can do is um, put a label on it and call it uh, LLA product X USA only 1%, uh, LLA product X USA one to two percent, etc. And I create all these lookalike audiences. I'm gonna cancel this for now, but once I do, it'll populate here. Then when I go to create my ad, at the ad set level, it'll say, hey, what's, what, what's your targeting? Who do you wanna target? And I'll just click custom audience or saved audience and I'll choose my LLA product X top 1% USA. And then I'll make my ads, boom. And then I'll go back, I'll choose LLA 1% to 2% uh, product X USA only, boom, all right? Now in the custom audiences. I love this part, all right? Facebook custom audience. I can use website, I can use a customer list. So when we talk about an email list, if I have an email list and I've got 500 or 5,000 or 100,000 email subscribers, I'm gonna download that to a CSV file. You'll be able to do that with any type of autoresponder. I'm gonna upload it to Facebook here. And Facebook will cross-reference it against Facebook accounts made with that email. So maybe you give it 100,000 people and it finds there's 86,000 Facebook accounts with that, all right? Now I have an audience of 86,000 I can market to. So it's a way of just getting back out in front of the people that have already opted into your funnels before, but maybe they're not opening your emails. Maybe they're reading them, but they're not clicking through. It's another angle to get more sales and achieve a higher ROI, okay? And then there's Instagram business profile. I love this. So I can click Instagram business profile, and then I'll be able to choose my Instagram account, and I can do, Everyone who engaged with my business profile in the last XYZ amount of days. I can do people who saved any post or ad, people who engaged with any post or ad, people who sent a message to your business profile. I like to do trailing seven day audiences and trailing 30 day because the people that engaged 12 months ago might not be engaged anymore or I'm not as memorable to them. So when I run ads to people that have engaged in the last 30 days or something like that, a little bit more memorable, a little bit more likely for them to follow my call to action and for me to be able to turn them into a follower, a sale, whatever the case may be. So I love the ability to do this with Facebook custom audiences. Works really well, you label it, boom, done. Really great way to do that. And then the other way, create audience, Facebook custom audience, and then events. This is really cool. Like for example, let's say that you're a fan of Jay-Z and Jay-Z just had a tour. Like for example, 
when he released the 444 album, I was at uh, one of the first concerts that he did for that, where he released the 444 album and he came out with his own like uh, version of Spotify, basically. Put all his music on there. Well, if I am a musician and I'm similar to Jay-Z and I know that his audience is similar to the kind of people that buy my tickets, what I could do is I could create an audience of people that Facebook knows have expressed an interest with attending the Jay-Z 444 tour, all right? And I could run it to them because they are bound to hopefully connect with the type of music that I'm putting out, right? Now I can do the same thing for what if that event already happened? If Jay-Z's running ads, Jay-Z's billionaire, okay, he runs ads, and Jay-Z has created a sales funnel or a website that pixeled when he spent money on ads, he spent X amount, how many of them turned into ticket sales? Facebook knows who bought those tickets. So now I can actually go into a past event and say, I want to target people that have purchased tickets to Jay-Z's last concert and create an audience off of that. And I can now market to people that already know, spend a thousand dollars to have a front row seat or five seats back or whatever down by the main stage that already spent that type of money paying an artist just like me when I'm going to have an event where I'm, you know, rapping or whatever in the next 30 days from now, okay? It's so powerful. That's how to use Facebook custom audiences. Obviously, I am not a musician. Well, actually, I am a drummer. I've been playing drums for a long time. I'm not a rapper. I'm nothing like Jay-Z, and uh, I don't use a whole tube of lipstick in, in one, you know. That guy probably goes through a lot of lipstick, guys. Hey, hopefully you love this video on Facebook custom audiences and Facebook lookalike audiences. If you enjoyed it, what I wanna know is what do you see as being the most valuable custom audience for you? What Facebook custom audience are you going to use? What lookalike audience are you going to use? Drop it in the comments below. I reply to all my comments. I want to see what you guys say. I want to see if you plan on using lookalike audiences, Facebook custom audience. Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to share this video and I'll see you guys next time.